What's going on guys? It's Steve. Susanna's not here in this video. She was here a little while ago, but right now she's actually doing some other stuff. So it's just Steve this time. Aren't you guys excited? It's just me by myself. Now I'm teasing. Um, this is a dining room, a little bit of an un... What's the word I want to say? An, an, a word like an unorthodox dining review. And I'm going to tell you why it's unorthodox. I had a little bit of a problem. We went to the Boma breakfast at Animal Kingdom Lodge. And if you guys aren't familiar with Boma at Animal Kingdom Lodge, it is their breakfast or dinner buffet. Quite possibly one of mine and Susanna's favorite buffets at Disney World. I, I love the breakfast. It's absolutely absolutely amazing and i love the dinner too and i've actually done a dining review of the dinner before so i'll make sure i link that in a card up above somewhere over here right in there somewhere but yeah i'll link a card um, for the dining review for boma for dinner however for this specific occasion this is a dining review for the breakfast yeah the boma breakfast is amazing it's one of our favorite places to eat at Disney, not only for breakfast, but just for eating in general. So um, anyway, I had a little bit of an issue though, where, you know, when we're filming inside of restaurants or just at the parks in general, we're always using what's called an external microphone, which basically enhances the quality of the audio for these videos that we make for you guys. And we had a very bad connection. And it's my fault. I was very bad. I was very bad. I always try to check my equipment. I try to check my, my microphones, make sure everything is working and testing and doing what it's supposed to do. Well, I screwed up. I did. I can't help it. I'm human. I'm going to make mistakes sometimes. And I didn't have a good connection on my microphone. So my audio got killed. Got killed. It's awful. Audio dead. Terrible. Ah. But, but I don't want to, um, I still want to share with you guys the dining experience of Boma. And I believe I can do it this way, which is by, I have all the visual um, video of the restaurant in the dining review, but I still don't have the audio. So maybe I'll just kind of take a look at some of, um, I'll show you guys some of the visual of um, Boma and we'll talk about it. How's that sound? All right, let's give it a shot. I think it'll be great actually. So, you know, one of the things is it's actually easier sometimes to talk about what you ate and the dining experience and stuff in general in, the, in a quiet atmosphere versus in a restaurant. And if you guys, and I'm sure you guys know, if you're obviously, if you're watching this, Disney restaurants are not, not the quietest, um, best environment sometimes for making videos anyway. There's a lot of clanking, a lot of, a lot of joyful discussions amongst the, the uh, guests at the various tables and uh, it can make it a little tricky sometimes to get in a really good high quality dining review video. But anyway, let's just get the video rolling and let's just take a look at a Boma breakfast. All right, now here we go. Look at that, they've got all these, it starts on, you know, Boma starts with Look, how do I want to say this? The main thing Boma has is, in my opinion, is wood-fired meats. They have this rotisserie thing going, which is just cooking all of the hams, the chickens, and so forth. And it is awesome. And it's, you know, my complaint with Ohana in the past has been, I get too much of a wood taste in my mouth. With Boma, I don't get that. I get just the right amount of smoky wood flavor in the meats. And I love meats, you know, look, we're Armenians, we love shish kebabs. We love cooking meat on fire. And I feel like maybe I have a little bit of a right to say what's good wood-fired meat and maybe what's not. <laughs> I feel like I'm a little bit of an authority on the subject. So, Boma does it right. I just wanted to preface that first. But anyways, you can see here, there's Susanna. She's getting some fresh asparagus. They've got fresh cut tomatoes. And keep in mind now, this is, a breakfast buffet. This is not the dinner buffet. This is the breakfast buffet. You can see the fire going in the back. I want to get you guys a really good view of the fire where the meats are going. You can actually see the rotisserie spinning and the meats are cooking. Oh, it's 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 absolutely phenomenal. It's it's so so good. Um, I just love the fresh carving station. Look at that, all oh, the meat is so good. That ham is delicious. Now I'll say this too, you can see, here I am getting my meat. I'm, the ham was my favorite by far. The chicken, or the turkey, it was very good. By far of all the meats, I love the ham so much. I love this mustard that you can put on the side with it. Um, 
The ham is phenomenal. I probably did like four trips just for the ham alone. And that mustard that accompanies it, it's so, so good. Um, while you can see me shoveling ham and stuff right now, I want to also mention something too. Animal Kingdom is famous for something called boba tie. And if you're not familiar with it, welcome to the club. Because who was not either? It's like starting eating at Animal Kingdom. But boba tie is like, it's like a w interesting type of sausage. They had, I know maybe some of y'all heard like, oh, when you go to Animal Kingdom restaurants, you have to try boba tie. Well, the great news and the great thing is they've got boba tie on the Boma Buffet. So that's really, really cool. You definitely have options for a boba tie. They've got bacon, um, uh, little uh, breakfast sausages. The bacon is perfect. Cooked to perfection. The bacon is so good. The little sausages are great, little breakfast sausages. Um, I just, one thing I love too about Boma is that it's an open kitchen. You can see everything. You can see them preparing the, okay, the, let's just go there. So you see right there, by the way, I'm sorry, I'm trying to talk and paste this with the video at the same time. But there's the scrambled eggs and let's actually, that actually takes me into what I wanted to say. There's also an omelet bar, so you can make, you can do omelets, you can basically do an omelet any way you want. You can add anything to it from the meats to the vegetables to the hams and so forth. Um, yeah, so you got the omelet bar, you've got scrambled eggs, you've got everything. You've got fresh buttermilk biscuits, which are so, so good. Now, something else, if you've never had before or never been to any of the, if you've never been to Boma before, is they have um, their house juice. The house juice is amazing. It's jumbo juice. I, I think, yeah, jumbo juice. Not jumbo, <laughs> jumbo, jumbo, like jumbo house, like the jumbo house, which is with that section of Animal Kingdom Lodges, the original part of Animal Kingdom Lodges, the jumbo house. But anyway, jumbo juice, which is a really good mix of, I can't remember, it's orange juice, pineapple, mango, all the juices that you love put into one glass mixed up, and it is perfect. No extra sugars added to it or anything. It's all natural, amazing. I always have Jumbo Juice. Every time I go to the breakfast buffet at Boma, highly, highly, highly recommend the Jumbo Juice. I probably drank that whole pitcher by myself. It's absolutely one of my favorite things. They have all of the fresh fruits you could ask for, from strawberries to pineapples to watermelon. Um, I mean, you name it, fresh fruit wise, it's on the buffet. It's, it's fantastic. And the fruit has not been sitting there long. It's really, really nice. Cantaloupes and everything, different melons. All the different toppings for your yogurts. You can get granola and raisins and dry, different various dry fruits to add to your yogurts. Oh my God, I'm making myself hungry. Like looking at, looking at this video footage is making me very hungry. I'm not gonna lie. I may have to go back over here today. I don't know, like, I, well, tomorrow morning, I should say. But um, you know what, actually, what a great way to start your Thanksgiving would be to have a Boma breakfast. Unfortunately, I'm sure that's probably booked up. But wouldn't that be a great way, just thinking like to go have a Boma breakfast? whatever but then you probably wouldn't be able to eat your thanksgiving dinner either way so here we go so then if you take a look you've got your salmon smoked salmon the different cheeses sliced cucumbers more tomatoes more onions salami swiss cheese i mean there's something on the boma breakfast buffet for everybody in your party Everyone's going to find something. You don't like eggs? Okay, well, guess what? Have a bagel. You don't like bagels? Well, guess what? Have um, cereal. You don't like ham? Have this meat. <laughs> it's just it's something for everybody. Mickey waffles, of course. I know a lot of you guys got to have your Mickey waffles. So you've got Mickey waffles, regular pancakes, chocolate chip pancakes. Oh, so good. So much to offer. So much, so many different items. And then this is basically like the whole dessert section all of the different types of desserts. That was like a pecan roll type of thing. All of the different muffins, the croissants, strawberry, I'm sorry, blueberry muffins. Oh, so the muffins are fantastic. Every, everything, everything. You know what, there's so much stuff on this buffet, I don't think you're gonna, you're not gonna get to eat it all, but I mean, you know, the different breads, the bagels, croissants. So anyway, that's just kind of an overview of the Boma Breakfast Buffet. Again, I apologize, this video just didn't work that well because the audio didn't come out. And when you lose your audio, how can you really do like the normal video? But anyway, so I wanted to just kind of show you guys the visuals of this buffet, because I know we've been talking so much about sharing our experience over at Boma. So this is the way that we're sharing, <laughs> this is the way that we're sharing it. Um, but yeah, fantastic. So overall, I'll just sum it up. 
Bumba Burf Buffet, Wood Fired Meats, Bubba Time, uh, biscuits, bagels, Mickey waffles, regular pancakes, chocolate chip pancakes, all the fresh fruit, omelet station, um, what am I forgetting? The bacon, the breakfast sausages, um, I mean, anything that you could think of on a traditional breakfast, you're gonna find it on the Voma Breakfast Buffet, along with that fantastic Jumbo Juice. So either way, absolutely by far one of our favorite places to eat breakfast on Disney property. Absolutely, it is one of our absolute favorite places, Boma Breakfast. So highly recommend it. Go get your Boma Breakfast, enjoy it, and uh, thank me later. So, all right guys, take care, have a good one. As always, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. The January 1st changes are knocking at the door. So if you wanna help us out, subscribe and click the bell notification. That way you're alerted every time we upload new fun content and make sure you turn those um, notification alerts on. That's the key to you. Gotta actually like turn the alerts on. So um, yeah, other than that, I think that's a wrap on this video. Don't forget about our, our Facebook group. Come join. So many of y'all have come. Mouse Secrets Facebook group in the description down below along with all of our other social media links. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you think I made a good effort by still uploading this video in this unorthodox way, give it an extra big thumbs up. So, all right guys, take care, have a good one. We'll see y'all in the next one, bye. What's going on guys? It's Steve and I just want to take a few more seconds of your time to tell you about our website, mousesecrets.com. Your home for Disney Mansion shirts, woo! Yeah, that's right, like for your next Disney trip, if you wanna have some really colorful, bright, fun t-shirts to wear at the Magic Kingdom at Epcot, then check out mousesecrets.com. Let's take a look at the website. I've got it pulled up right now. So you just come to our homepage, click on Disney World Vacation t-shirts, just like I'm doing right now, and it'll open up and you can see all the different designs we've got. We've got our castle tie-dyes, castle solid shirts, castle multicolors. We even got a US flag castle shirt, which I think is just super cool. We've got our raglan three-quarter sleeve shirts and all of our different designs listed, even have Disney Cruise Line. But um, yeah, and now here's the cool thing. Our shirts are 10% off right now. So we are running a sale and and personalization is free. That's right, we'll personalize your shirts for no extra charge. We can add your name below the design. Uh, we can add your name to the back of the shirt across the upper back. Um, we can do a family name like uh, Michael's Family Vacation or Johnson Family Vacation, How, whatever you would like to do. We can even do short phrases, you know, just married or celebrating an anniversary or something like that. Yes, we'll personalize a shirt and there's no charge for it. And it's very simple to do. All you do is pick the design that you like. So let's say, go with the red tie-dye like I'm wearing right now. So I would click on the castle tie-dye. That'll open up just like it did. You'll see that it's 10% off. Um, select the size you want. So let's say you go with an adult small, select your color. You can see all the different colors we've got. We've got a magical blue, a frontier land orange, a small world yellow, a beastly green, cars land pink. And like what I'm wearing right now in the video, park hopping red. So you would select the park hopping red and the size. Okay, then you come down here to this box and you enter your personalization that you want to appear on the shirt. So let's say you want to put Steve, you want to put Steve, uh, you would just type Steve right to that block and you can even type beside it, Steve under, um, uh, put Steve front of shirt under design or Steve back of shirt and that way we'll know where to add it. Also though at checkout, there is a place where you can leave a note to the seller, which is us. And you can also type in that note to seller, please put the personalization on the back of the shirt or please put the personalization underneath the design on the front of the shirt and we'll get it taken care of for you. Um, or you don't have to have a personalization at all. A lot of people buy our shirts just as they are without personalizing them. But if you want to, you can. And there's no extra charge to do that. We're offering a special free personalization and they're 10% off right now. Um, so yeah, super, super cool, bright, colorful shirts like I'm wearing right now in the video. Adds a little extra magic to your Disney vacation and to your photo pass pictures. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Thanks a lot. Bye.